everyone welcome back to my channel this is Jenny and happy a Sunday to you today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you everything I picked up is brand new I'm also going to be including a cute Dollar Tree DIY at the end and of course a special giveaway so let me dive in and let me show you on what I purchased so I remember seeing these on TV I'm like that looks so cool but i could not bring myself to spend twenty dollars on the as seen on tv so when i found these at the dollar tree i thought you know what i'm gonna give it a shot these are called egglets as seen on tv hard-boiled eggs without the shell crack boil pop perfect hard-boiled eggs every time includes four egglets make your favorite dishes so that is what the package looks like um, they had these in a couple of locations in the store. They had them up by the register, and they also had them over there by the plastic um, containers. So I'm going to rip this open and show you. So they're like um, silicone. So they come in a little package right here. So they're like silicone with a plastic lid. You just open it up like that use with oil or cooking spray that's what it says so i'm sure you just spray it break your egg in there it comes with a little booklet here so it gives you different ideas on what to make different recipes and all that good stuff so yeah for a buck i mean this is the time to stock up for christmas so if you have a hard to buy um person in your family this would be cute to buy um, this and some other items that they sell there at the Dollar Tree as seen on TV. So yeah, I just thought that would be a really good idea. I did pick up a couple of packs for my oldest girls. And speaking of my oldest girls, my second oldest, which is 20, she, it, <laughs> she's 20 and she will be 21 um, on January 12th. Although I have some time, but when I seen this card, I had to get it. She has been a huge Dalmatian fan since toddler age. So I just thought that was really cute. So I went ahead and picked that up for her birthday. Now it's just a matter of not losing it until January. So we'll see. They have so many cute hair accessories out right now. Um, but these were super cute. I'm going to give these to my daughter, Grace. She is my soon-to-be 18-year-old. She likes to wear these in her hair. Um, they're like scarves around a ponytail holder. So I just think, and they're like silk look how pretty those colors are so it comes with the ponytail holder and then this one is a head scarf so she can wrap this either around her ponytail or she can wear it um, around her neck she can wear it around her ponytail just whatever so they are different now they had some real cute headbands as well um, with these scarves but my kids really don't wear headbands and I can't wear headbands because I hate anything tight behind my ear and like squishing my, oh, just can't stand it. Um, these are so cute. They have a cloud, a star, and then this moon. I think those are the three they had and they had it in different colors. I will link the video down below. Come with me to the Dollar Tree and I show you all of them if you have not seen these. These are made so cute. They are not cheaply painted or anything. Um, I went ahead and picked up the moon for my daughter because her and my mom always say I love you to the moon and back. So I just thought this cute little moon would be cute to put on her nightstand. Um, so I grabbed that for her. I've been collecting these iron-on patches and every time I come across a new batch, I snag one of them up. So they had two different ones this time around. This one says POW and then you have a heart. Now you do have to iron these on or you can add glue if you want to. And then here's some eyes and lips. So I thought those were cute and I've always found these on the plastic strips. You can find some really cool stuff on those plastic strips, so always be sure you keep an eye out on those. Um, they have some really cute Christmas ornaments out. Um, I went ahead and picked up this wooden, it looks like a gift tag, and this one says Holiday Cheer, and they also had another one with the snowman with a different saying, but I just went ahead and picked up that one. Now, if you don't like the design and you want to do something your own, you can just flip it around and do your own thing on that site and personalize it for someone in your family or for yourself. And I forgot to curl that piece of hair, and that's going to drive me insane. Um, 
I finally found these um, fall boxes, bags, whatever. I bought two of the other ones, and I didn't even know this one really existed. Um, but I'm happy that I found them. I found them in all different sizes. Um, I picked up, I think this is the third smallest one. This is called Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice Season. I think that is just so cute. And then this one says, Leaves Are Falling, Autumn Is Calling, Pumpkin Patch with the blue truck. So these are just so cute. My daughter Ava and my son Alex love these. And they're about $2.53 at the grocery store. These are the Ready Pasta Fully Cooked um, Elbow Macaroni. You just throw them in the microwave for 60 seconds and you are good to go. So when I found these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, I went ahead and picked up four of them. Always check the day. I can never stress that enough to you guys. Um, these expire July 24th, 2020. So we have plenty of time to eat those. Um, speaking of Christmas, they have all their gift wrap, tons of bags and boxes out. I went ahead and snagged these two sets up. Um, you get three per pack. So this one says season greetings. I love the rustic look. And this, on this side, it says sleigh rides with a North Pole company reindeer farm. Now you can cut this out. You can frame it. There's all different things you can do. Um, with these boxes you don't have to use them for that reason i've taken a lot of the christmas bags from the dollar tree and bought one of their frames and framed it and made a display out of the pictures or out of them so i was trying to see what other one you get okay so the other one you get in there is farm fresh christmas select your own trees so you get all three of those with the bottoms in that pack. Now the other one I picked up is this one, which I thought was really cute. It says Mary. And then on the other side, it says, I don't know. I don't know what that says up there, but there's a stocking. But we shall find out because you never know what is in the middle until you buy them and open them. So that is what we're going to do. Happy Holidays. That's what that one says. And then the one in the middle, season greetings. So it's almost like that one, but it's a different color in that. So yeah, those are super cute. I go through a lot of boxes at Christmas time, so those are perfect. The last item I picked up, I don't know if these are new. Most likely they probably aren't, but I thought I would give them a shot. They are razors and you get four blades, men's four blade disposable razors. Four packs, stainless steel, made in Sweden. So, comment down below and let me know if you've tried these and what you think. I'm still trying to find, I use a lot of Gillette razors, but I'm trying to find cheaper ones so I don't have to pay that kind of money. I used to buy the other Dollar Tree razor blades. They were blue, I think, and they did really well for the longest time, and all of a sudden I just started breaking out with them. So I don't know if they changed something. I don't know. So I just stopped buying them. So I'm going to venture out of my comfort zone and try these and see if they work. So that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. As I said at the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and add a DIY um, here at the end. It is a just a French Bulldog lamp. It's super easy, super cute, and the possibilities are endless. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, I would love a thumbs up. Be sure you click on to that subscribe button if you haven't already because I would really love to have you as a subby friend. Also, I will be doing a giveaway after the DIY, so be sure you keep an eye out on who wins the giveaway. So I thank you all for spending the time with me today. So I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful Sunday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Bye. Okay, for this Dollar Tree DIY, these are all the items you are going to need. A paper plate, a foam brush, some Mod Podge, scissors, two AA batteries, a little Phillips screwdriver, the touch sensor uh, lamp, if you want to call it that, and your choice of a napkin. So, let's go ahead and get this started. So the first thing I did was put the batteries in so you can see that it works. Let me touch it. 
I'm going to take my paper plates, my Mod Podge, and that, put that off to the side, and I'm going to need two of these napkins. Yeah, two. Two. So I want to cut out both of these French Bulldogs. So I'm just going to trim right around it. And you're going to do this for three of them. So here are all three of the dogs cut out. So now you're going to take your Mod Podge. You're going to, oh, Foo Foo. That was a lot. Wasn't expecting that. So you're going to pour some Mod Podge on a paper plate. Not as much as I just did. And you're going to take your foam brush and start spreading some of this on the lampshade. Now don't do the whole thing all at once. You're just going to do section by section. Don't mind that the light's coming off and on. That's going to happen. You're going to take whatever design you chose to put on your lamp. I'm going to pull that. And then I'm just going to smooth it out. Now, once it starts drying, it's going to get kind of wrinkly, but that's okay. At least to me it is. Now, I did not get enough over here for the ear, so I'm going to do that. So there is the first dog. Now you could put them up inside, but I think trying to straighten them out is going to be way too hard. So you're just going to do that again on wherever you want your other design. So I am going to make sure, now I like having the brush strokes going all the same way. I'm just weird about that. Now I'm going to take my next dog, place it towards the bottom there. And do one more. Now, if you want, you could put Mod Podge on top of it right away, or you can let it dry. I'm going to let it dry just a little bit, and then I'm going to put another layer. I need to go over a little bit more. So that's all you're going to do. Let it dry a little bit and we'll do a top coat. Okay, I'm just being a little impatient. I'm going to go ahead and just start covering it. I only let it dry just for a few minutes. So I'm just going to put a thin layer over the napkin. Now it's going to get kind of wrinkly. I just think it just gives it some character. So just putting a thin layer, whoops, sorry ear. Like I said, I like to go 
all the same way if possible. One more. Okay, so I let it dry overnight and this is how it looks. How adorable is that? So cute. So here it is turned off and then just touch it once and there you go. Look how cute that is. So simple and it'd be cute to keep in maybe a bathroom or by a kid's bedside. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. I thank you all for stopping by and spending the time with me today. So I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Okay, I have my son here. He is going to be drawing a four winners today. I'm going to be giving away the seasonal journal um, collected from Nature, which is really, really cool. I have the Book of Joy journal which is an amazing book as well. Also, we have the Time Garden Week at a Glance Coloring Diary and then the Coloring Planner. So each winner has 48 hours to contact me to claim your price. So Alex, go ahead, turn around. We're gonna need four names today. So the first one, we will do the Seasonal Journal. And that winner is... Uh, Miss Armstrong, congratulations. You are the winner for that. Now we're going to be doing the Joy Journal, and that winner is Patty Swan. Congratulations, Patty. Now we're going to do the Time Garden, and that one is Sandy Howery. Congratulations, Sandy. You are the winner for that one. And then we're going to be doing the Coloring a Planner. And that one is Lorena uh, Salinas. No, that doesn't sound right. But Lorena, I know who you are. But congratulations, you are the winner for that coloring planner. Once again, we want to say thank you for all your love, support, and the lovely smiley mail, which over there besides Ava stuff, I have a ton of mail to still open. It's been about three weeks, but I have a ton of mail. I did add all of your names to the giveaway box. But I'm hoping to get that video up sometime next week. So again, have a wonderful, beautiful Sunday. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Jojo, are you having a nightmare? Oh, oh poor thing.